welcome god bless you welcome 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 god bless you all how y'all doing today okay i'm prophetess kimberly harbers i'm the founder of rejoice essential magazine also a christian arthur listen i just wanted to encourage you guys um getting ready to head out to go to church god bless you man of god god bless you listen how you doing um prophetess melodies in the house okay a lot of people you're going through warfare and I got a right now word for you guys, so I'm excited. But before, you know, I get into this teaching, I'm going to give, you know, some announcements to tell you everything that God is doing. And then, you know, I'm going to be a really, 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 really quick word. How you doing from Cincinnati? How you doing, Prophet? It's Mia. All right. So, how you doing, Prophet Scott? God bless you. I'm so glad to see everybody. Yes. All right. So, uh Saturday morning, we're going to have a prophetic miracle call. You need to call this call because miracles happen. The last time I did this call, God opened up a deaf ear. The time before that, lumps in this lady's body dissolve. And somebody's scoliosis, God started lining her spine on this call. So I give God all the glory and the praise. Amen. So it's going to be Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, if you need healing, Deliverance, a prophetic word. If you want me to touch and agree with you and help you seek God for clarity and direction, connect with me Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. And the next thing I want to show you guys is, we have been on here in a while. All right. School of the Prophets. The next class starts December 1st. If you want me to help mentor you, help you grow in your gift, you need to connect. Go to my website, KimberlyHeartGrace.com, and click on School of the Prophets. I am excited. The, 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 the people that's taking School of the Prophets, I'm so excited for them. They are really growing by leaps and bounds, and they're really being stretched and challenged. All right. The next thing I want to show you, um, the School of the Prophets student right now, they are going to be on a call every night this week. Every night this week, if you want to hear the word of the Lord, if you want to get a prophetic word, yep, the woman of God, prophetess, melodies in the school, you know, she goes Monday. So it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to be on this call, same number, same access code, School of the Prophets. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate the um, encouragement. Thank you so much and the nice words. All right, and it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so connect. All right, the next thing I want to show you guys is at my church i'm going to have another conference prophetic prayer watch conference connect with me people of god we need to pray more you know and we're going to pray down heaven so this is going to be december 16th right at my church grace be unto you outreach church in colorado springs go to my website register let me know if you're coming i'm going to give free giveaways i love to just give i'm a giver so if you come i'm going to bless you hallelujah so december 16 at 6 p.m all right you know, come to Colorado, come hang out with me, amen, so, you know, we can go to, you know, go to this event the night before, and come fellowship with me at church the next day, so one more thing I want to show you before I get into this word, um, all right, I'm going to have a woman's conference, yep, Colorado, it's the Empower Me, the Empower, Empowering the New Me Women's Conference, how you doing, Pastor Jennifer Jones, how you doing, okay, yes, so, um, this is a life-changing conference, you, if I'm telling you, you're going to be delivered, you're going to be, you know, uh, set free. And um, at this conference, I'm going to release my new book. You're going to get a t-shirt and have lunch. And it's like workshops, life-changing workshops. So please connect with me. You know, you can follow me on um, my Facebook, Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. Or email me if you, if you want more information about this conference. Or you can follow me on Twitter, you know. And it's all information is right there. All right, people of God. All right. So I know I've been away from for a while. I'm gonna come back later. And I'm gonna do the make another prophet series. You know, I got I've been sitting on a lot of word. But listen, you know, I'm gonna get into the word now. You are blessed. Somebody just need to say, I'm blessed. I am blessed. Somebody just need to put that up there right now. Because let me tell you something. You know, can I give you some word right quick? Can I give you a really, really quick word before I get up out of here? You are blessed. And you need to say, I'm blessed and I'm highly favored of the Lord. You know, if you're being persecuted right now, just give God praise. You know, a lot of people, it seemed like, oh my God, really? I thought they were for me, but I just found out that they weren't for me. You know, oh my God, I, 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 I just got rejected. You know, I just got betrayed by someone that was close to me. Let me tell you something. Give God praise because you are blessed. You are blessed. Matthew 5, I love this. I taught, I taught on this a little bit the other night in the School of the Prophets, and it just got me stared. 
Matthew 5, somebody put this up there, 11 and 12. Matthew 5, 11 through 12. You know, it says you are blessed. You know, you are blessed and God has a blessing with your name on with your name on it, amen? You are blessed. When people insult you, if you have been insulted, let me tell you something. Some of you have stepped out in faith and I was about to block the wrong person. Some of you, I'm going to get you, got you. Some, I don't do the cursing on here. You know, you can say whatever, you can call me false, you can call me whatever, but I don't do that cursing. So, some of you, you know, you have been insulted. You know, you did everything that God told you to do. And it seems like hell has launched an all-out attack against you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You know, people have mocked you because you stepped out on the call that God has told you to do and has signed you. And, you know, people don't understand it. You know, people maybe have abused you physically. You know, I pray, you know, a hedge of protection around you, safety. Some of you have abused you mentally and verbally, you know, and try to say all evil things against you. Some people have reviled you, you know. Some people have hurt you and persecute you. Come on now. You are blessed. You are blessed somebody. Amen. Listen, God has you. God has you. You know, I, I don't want you to be sad today. I don't want you to be depressed another moment. I need you to get up right now and just look in the mirror at yourself and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I am blessed. And I, I, I choose to believe that God has something greater for me. I choose to believe that this is not my final destination. I choose to believe that God is doing something amazing in my life. Amen? I, I need you to know with everything that you have within you, that you are blessed. You know, God has spoken to some of y'all and give you prophetic visions and dreams and say, I'm going to do this, X, Y, Z. And it don't seem like it's going to come to pass. Just get ready. Get ready. You are blessed. You are blessed. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? All right? So I don't care who the enemy uses to lie on you. I don't care who the enemy uses to say all kind of evil things about you or against you. You know, because we follow Jesus Christ. How you doing, Prophet Long? Or because we are in the will of God for our lives. You got to keep moving. You better keep on going forward. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? The word tells us in Matthew 5, verse 12, it says rejoice, rejoice, and, and be glad because you have a great reward. You have a great reward in heaven. You have a great reward in heaven. Don't you know that we're just aliens in this world and we're just foreigners in this world and we're just like passing through? We're literally passing through. Amen? But I'm telling you, all the persecution, all the pain, all the suffering, all the backbiting, just get ready. I'm telling you, because you are blessed, you know, and God has a great reward. And all those tears that you shed is not wasted. Don't you know that the Lord is bottling up your tears even now? Some of you are going through unnecessary warfare. Some of you, it seems like everything um, that could have went wrong has went wrong. Your hair falling out. You lost your appetite. Your, your, your vehicle is breaking down. You are blessed. You know, we all got to go through hardships and trials and tribulations but the word tells us to count it all joy count it all joy and don't be surprised at those you know fiery trials when they come up at you count it all joy amen because let me tell you something you're getting ready to come out this thing with power a stronger anointing you know and then you're gonna look back and say my god i remember last year was being homeless. I remember last year sleeping on the floor. I remember last year, my God, losing my job. But somehow, some way, the hand of the Lord was on my life, and I got through those struggles and those situations. You are blessed. Because guess what? There's somebody out there worse than you. There's somebody out there that's terminal right now. Somebody out there just took their last breath. You are blessed. Amen? So before you want to complain and just mummer and, you know, just, just, you just, be like the children of Israelites when they was in the wilderness. Come on now. You say, okay, God, I don't understand it. It hurts, but I give you praise, God. I give you praise. I give you praise. Amen. People die every day. People, people go through things in life. But guess what? You are blessed. We have the Holy Spirit with us. We have a comforter with us to get us through this the storms in life. Amen. You know, and let me tell you 
But let me tell you something. Can I tell you something? Can I prophesy and tell you that God is building up your testimony? You can't even spell right. How you gonna come on here and try to cuss and can't spell? Get an education in Jesus' name. Listen, you are blessed. I, I, I need you to believe it. That's why I keep saying it over and over and over and over again. Because somebody is feel like, man, somebody's thinking right now, I'm cursed. Because it seems like nothing good is happening for me. You are not cursed. Because you know what the word says? Jesus Christ, the one who hung on the tree for us, became a curse so we can attain the blessings of Abraham. And that's in Galatians chapter 3. Amen? You are blessed. You are not cursed. The word of God says you are the head and not the tail. You're blessed in the city, blessed in the country, in the fields. Amen? You are blessed. You are blessed. All right? So the word tells us to rejoice and be glad, you know, because we have a great reward in heaven. We have a great reward in heaven. Can't even curse either. Hallelujah. All right. So, you know, I just want to encourage you and tell you that, you know, it's nothing new underneath the sun that you're going through because people did the same evil things to the other prophets that were before you, to the other ministers that were before you, to the other men and women of God that were before you. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You know what I'm saying? God has you. God has you. God said he's going to give you the house. He's going to give you the house. God said he's going to promote you and elevate you and give you a better job and increase in your life. You better believe it. I need you to hold on and get ready. Get ready. I'm telling you. You know, I'm telling you because let me tell you, my God, God does suddenly. God does suddenly. One day your, your life can be, you know, I'm telling you, like Joseph went from the pit to the palace. One day your life can just be a total wreck. A total wreck. And then God can extend his hand or blow in your situation and it can change just like that. How you doing, my man of God? It can change just like that. So I need you with every fiber of your being to believe God. To believe God. Hold on. Hold on. We got to endure this thing. Amen. You got to endure this thing. I'm telling you. And guess what? Some of you are on the verge of a miracle. I want to encourage you to tell you that God has heard your cries. God has heard your supplications. You know, some of you are fearful. I rebuke fear off of you in the name of Jesus. Some of you just feel like throwing in the towel and giving up. And say, God, I never understood why I got to go through this. I don't understand, Lord. Why I got to suffer? Why I got to go through this thing? But I want to tell you that everything is working out for your good. Everything is working out for your good. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? My God, you know God is moving when all these demons come up on here talking crazy. Jesus. All right. So, people of God, you are blessed. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? You are blessed and you are highly favored of the Lord. Amen? I'm telling you. You know, if you're a prophet on here, you have a prophetic anointing on here. You know, you know, even if you're a minister, evangelist, a teacher, a, a man or woman of God, you know, you know you got a call on your life. You know, I'm telling you, other great men and women of faith have went through the same thing before you went through it. And, and God got them out of that thing. So why can't God get you out of it? You know, some of you got an eviction notice on your door. I, 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 I decree and declare you won't be homeless because I've been there. I've been there. You know, I had an eviction notice on my door like the like the last year. Come on, somebody. But, but God, he came through for me and he paid my rent out for the rest of the year. That's God. You know, some of you lost your job. I, I've been there. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I lost my job. But guess what? God provided for me. God provided for me. So some of you, you're believing God to restore relationships. God is a restorer. Some of you lost a lot. But guess what? You know, God is going to give you double for your trouble. Some of you, you know, the enemy has been doing everything to slander you, persecute you, you know, mock you, ridicule you. But guess what? Instead of shame, you're getting ready to get a portion of, of come on, double honor. Double honor. God is literally preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'm telling you. Y'all just need to give God praise. Give God praise tonight. Or I said tonight. I'm so used to ministering at night. Give God praise right now in the name of Jesus. My God, hallelujah. Y'all help me block these people. My God. All right, people of God. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be encouraged. I want you to meditate on Matthew 5, verses uh, 11 and 12, okay? Matthew 5. You know, 11 and 12. Amen. And just say, okay, I'm blessed. I'm blessed because, you know, I'm going through something right now. Even Jesus, he was our prime example, you know, of this life. 
Amen. And he was she was crucified and mocked and ridiculed and persecuted. So if he went through it, why 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 do you expect that you won't go through it? Amen. I'm telling you. That's right. The enemy, God is gonna make the our enemies our footstool, somebody. Amen. So it's Matthew 5, 11 and 12. Matthew 5, 11 through 12. All right. Be encouraged, people of God. Be encouraged. Uh, I'm gonna come back um later on today after I get out, out from church and I'm going to do the making of the prophet series. All right. And also before I get off of here. Um, if you want to just be a blessing to the ministry, you can go to my website on my profile and sow a faith seed. I'll pray fervently over your seed. You know, for the people that came on late, you know, I need you to go ahead and meet me at my church. December the 16th, we're having a prophetic prayer watch meeting. And I'm believing God for miracles, 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 miracles. So go to my website and register if you plan on attending this. Also, I have a woman's conference. It's February the uh, 25th. You know, I, I need you, you know, to connect, empowering the new me, woman's conference. You know, you can follow me on Facebook, Prophetess Kimberly Hargrace, and you can get the information. Just click on the event tab and see what events I have. And you can go ahead and register. It comes with a book, lunch, workshops, and a t-shirt. So I'm excited about that. One more thing I want to show you guys before I get off of here. A lot of people ask me to prophesy and give them the word of the Lord. I will be prophesying to everyone that calls in the call Saturday morning. 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The, the number is 605-562-3140. Access code 673-436. If you need healing, deliverance, prophetic word of life, call in. Miracles happen. Amen. If you're a spectator, I know the enemy's on here. Call in. You know, call in and you can see a demonstration of God's power. All right. And the next one I want to show you guys will be on this call every week. You know, the School of the Prophet students will be on the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's come out and support them. Amen. All right, people of God, I love you so much. If you have a prayer request, send me a prayer request. Email me at info at KimberlyHeartGrace.com, and I will definitely pray for you. And if I said I was going to call you, I am going to call you. All right. God bless you.